Hello, my name is Ignacio, I'm Spanish, and I'm early stage researcher number 16 from the Smart Answer Innovative Training Network, which is part of the Maris Clos Cacuri Actions, funded by the European Union. Today we're here at CETIAT in Lyon, France, which is a lab specialized in testing and calibration of heating and ventilation equipment. The objective of my thesis is to study some noise reduction methods that are starting to be applied to fans but are not yet fully understood. These are serrations that can be applied to both the leading and the trailing edge of the blades of the fan, porous materials and wavy blades. These methods are biomimetic, which means that they are inspired by nature. For instance, serrations can be found in the wings of the owls. If we look closely at the feathers, we can see that they have a subtle shape that is present in both the trailing and the leading edge, and accounts for the silent flight. Besides, the feathers are fluffy. They are porous material, which absorbs part of the aerodynamic noise. The PhD thesis is mostly experimental. We we'll use a commercial fan, like this one, which is used for the ventilation of buildings. It is a centrifugal fan, which means that the inlet of air is axial, so parallel to a rotating axis, the spin it, and the outlet is radial. So it flows in this direction. We use a 3D printer to manufacture prototypes of the fan that will be modified by adding these noise reduction techniques I've mentioned before. Then we'll test these prototypes to check first if the noise has been reduced, how much, and secondly if there is an impact on the aerodynamic performance of the fan, which is something that we want to avoid or at least to mitigate. At the same time we'll perform some simulations in order to gain a better insight on the way the flow moves, the air moves between the blades of the fan. Fans are not as visible as airplanes or wind turbines. Nevertheless, they're all around us. We find them in our cars, in our houses, in our vacuum cleaners, in our computers, in our hair dryers. So the methods I'm working with can help to reduce fan noise, which is a problem that affects us all. Besides, given the cross disciplinary nature of aeroacoustics, these methods could be applied to other fields, such as wind turbines or even airplanes.